And would you guys say, because I've done a shit ton of therapy myself, that one of the key ingredients to continuing on as a couple is you both have to truly want it. Not just for the kids, not just to save money, but you guys truly want to stay together. Isn't that key? Oh, absolutely. I mean, you know, every time people would ask us, like, how did you know, Jana, that you wanted to stay? Or even for me, how did I know that I wanted to stay? And it was a daily, a daily, uh, you know, temperature gauge for us. It was making, as long as we were both putting in the work, you know, consistently, then we were like, okay, you know, here we are showing up today. We're showing up. Let's keep going. So it was a snowball effect, but it had, we had to work at it every day. Yeah. And I mean, I also, I had to stop shaming him and yelling at him. And like, I had to look inside and be like, okay, if this isn't healthy for him either, this isn't fair for him either. So I either need to forgive him and do my work on how to deal with the triggers and the trauma of all of it, or I have to like, that's just not fair. Like I wouldn't never like, that's not fair for him to stay if I'm screaming at him constantly. So eventually I had to do my work to learn how to not lose my mind every time I freaked out or I was scared or I didn't trust him. And that, that took a while. That's really good. And that's really hard, Janet, because, you know, I know so many people that have been in your guys' shoes, you know, and to also, besides the the shaming part, just to get past, but also the insecure part, like, I've been in those shoes before going like, am I, am I not good enough? How do you get back above water to where you're like, I'm, I'm great. I, if he can't see that it's his issue. There's, I should not beat myself up because it has nothing to do with me. Yeah. That took four years to figure out. Um, it was within this past year that I finally, my therapist, we actually just had a, um, um, uh, a session the other day and she's like when you came here a year ago you still believed that it was your fault that you're not good enough and that um you could have maybe changed something with y'all's past and she's like do you still believe that same thing today and I mean for like the last four years I was wearing the biggest push-up bras ever and trying to push it up and I'm like is this sexy yes. is this what you want like I and I'm like and I have the smallest bees in the world you know so I'm like you know jacking these little bees up and I'm like, you know, do, do you love me now? Is this, and he's like, it has nothing to do with you. And I didn't understand that until I really did the work on myself and learned more about addiction. And, um, so now I can finally say like, I, I know it wasn't, you know, wasn't my fault. It's not mine to carry and I am good enough and I don't have to put on, you know, these kind of outfits or dress a certain way or be a certain way to be loved and, and for him to love me back. Well said. Well said, because I know so many people that are going through that right now. And Mike, I know you're not, you can't speak on behalf of every person that has, you know, done this before, but can you speak to all the women that are listening and, and let them hear that from you? Like there, it's not really necessarily their partner's fault. It's not an image thing. It's, there's something inside that you're looking externally to get a fix from. Uh, can uh, you better explain that? Yeah, absolutely. And first I want to empathize. I understand why, I mean, infidelity and anything like that, like how could someone not take that personal, right? That's the most personal, almost attack on somebody that you could possibly do in a relationship. So, you know, for me, trying to allow Janet to understand that it wasn't about her was me doing the work on myself and figuring out what was going on internally for me. So, you know, for any women out there that are dealing with that in their relationship, you know, it's up to the man to, to dive in and to do that work in order to best explain to his significant other, be like, Hey, this is coming from a place I never even knew. I never even realized that this was how I, I kind of, you know, suppress these emotions and took them elsewhere because for me that's what it was all all about i never learned how to healthily express my emotions in a healthy way so i took it out elsewhere 